Hi, this is Kristen from naturalbirthandbabycare.com and I'm going to talk to you about listening to your baby with a fetoscope in this video. So this is a fetoscope. This is a pretty inexpensive one. I think it was around $20. I got it off of Amazon.com. Uh, I can link to one on Amazon. Sometimes they have them in stock, sometimes they don't, but usually you can find them. It is a stethoscope. It just looks different than a normal stethoscope. You could probably use a normal stethoscope, but this one's made specifically for listening to a baby. So if your midwife or your doctor were using this, they would put their head right here and then put this down on your belly because it helps conduct the sound better. You won't be able to do that if you're listening to your baby yourself, so you'll pretty much just use this to hold on to and put this part down on your belly. You'll see me do that. Another thing to pay attention to is the earpieces. So if you haven't really used a stethoscope before, sometimes I think the tendency is to put them on this way, but they should point this way. So they point out towards your ears like this. And you can actually adjust them on most fetoscopes and stethoscopes to fit your ears, but you want them pointing forward towards your ear canals. When we listen to baby, if you watch the baby positioning video, I covered this a little bit. But the easiest place to hear your baby's heartbeat is on his or her back, like here or here. So when you listen, the place where you hear the heartbeat peak with the fetoscope, at least as your baby gets bigger, is probably going to be right around here. And that helps you to know what position your baby's in. So now I will talk to you a little bit about hearing your baby both early on and as your baby gets bigger so you're able to hear based on position better. All right, so now we're gonna listen to baby. I found, especially as I first got started, that it was helpful to listen to my heartbeat first because that, because you can hear your heartbeat down here. So it's helpful to listen and know, okay, that's the speed of my heartbeat. So you just hold it and listen to your heartbeat. So, then when you listen to baby, you just hold it down there. And I know that my baby is right there because I actually just did the video on palpating. And so I can hear my baby's heartbeat right now. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. I can't even talk as fast as it is. But I found my baby's heartbeat already because I know where my baby is. So if you're early on, let me put these here. If you're early on in your pregnancy, you can't hear with the fetoscope. The earliest I've been able to hear with the fetoscope is like right around the 15 week point. So 15 to 16 weeks is usually as early as you can feel, at which point your uterus is probably maybe here. The best way that I've found to try and find the baby's heartbeat is first, know what it sounds like. This isn't a Doppler. It doesn't magnify the sound everywhere. So you have to find where the baby is. And it sounds kind of like a a watch or a clock ticking under a pillow. So you have to listen. And I found that the best way to do it is to start very low, even if you've noticed if at the doctor's office or at your midwife's office when they use the Doppler, the first few appointments is very low. So start very low. You don't want clothes in the way, so do it somewhere you don't mind moving things out of the way. And then I found just kind of systemically, systematically, excuse me, kind of just going, and you wouldn't go that quickly. You know, you'd listen for a minute, do I hear anything? And then move just slightly, kind of going around. And then again, probably your uterus would only be up to here. You would feel where your uterus is and then just kind of feel around in a systematic way. And hopefully you find the baby's heartbeat. Sometimes in the early weeks I'm able to find it. Sometimes I'm not. Um, but practicing and trying it frequently will help you. I like to think about it as, as kind of chasing, you know, kind of chasing the baby. You also hear other sounds. So if you hear like a whoosh, 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 that down low is probably uterine arteries. It, the whoosh is at the same rate as your heart rate. If you hear it up a little bit higher and, and it's a little bit more of a whistly than um, strong, that's probably the placenta. So... If you, the baby's heartbeat will be much faster. So yours is probably a pretty rhythmic whoosh, 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 whoosh. The baby's is much faster, especially early on. 
Um, as your baby gets bigger, like I shared in the palpation video, you can kind of palpate and feel what position is my baby in. Or in those middle weeks, like you might feel like a lump of baby, and then you can try and feel like right there on the lump. But like I said in the palpation video, I feel like just from palpating that my baby is kind of like this, which is why I put the fetoscope right here, which is probably catching my baby right here. And I found the baby's heartbeat right away. So I really think that the key to using a fetoscope is being persistent. If your midwife or doctor has a fetoscope in the office, again, you can ask them to find it and then help you listen right away, which can be helpful. But just be willing to spend some time. Now, if you're farther along and you start to get woozy when you've been on your back a bit, you know, you can roll over, but it really is easiest to hear on your back. And it's definitely a practice kind of thing. So, but once you've found your baby's position, once your baby's big enough to start palpating position, like 24, 25 weeks or so, um, then you can use the heartbeat either to help you find the position or help you confirm a position that you suspect. So I think it's a really good tool. It's inexpensive. It's not an ultrasound, so you can use it as often as you want and as comfortable as you are, as long as you're not getting stressed out by it. Um, and I think it works really well if you're really, you know, if you're really persistent uh, in the in the early weeks. And then as you get, you know, as you get to the point where you know your baby's positioning, you can probably find it pretty quickly that way. And I think it's a lot of fun. It's a nice way to bond with your baby.